What is going on guys? I am back once again with another Kobe sneaker. Quick look, quick unboxing. Um, first of all, I want to say Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope everyone had a good holiday season. Um, let's make the best out of 2020 and I'm curious to see what uh, Nike has in store for us in 2020 um, with the Kobe uh, collection. So the shoe I am about to show you guys is a shoe that was um, only for uh, exclusive access. It was through the sneakers app. Um, as you guys can tell by the title, uh, this was for NBA 2K20 players only. Um, if you played uh, NBA 2K20 in my career mode and you beat um, Kobe's Christmas Day high of 42 points, you were able to get exclusive access on the sneakers app to purchase this shoe. Um, now, I know a lot of people, I think they played the game, they beat the challenge, and they couldn't link their accounts to the sneakers app. Uh, I heard a lot of complaints about that. Uh, for some reason, and thankfully mine went through right away, I woke up on the 26th, I started playing the game, um, I beat the challenge, it was actually pretty easy, it wasn't that hard, um, you beat the challenge and then I just kept refreshing my sneakers app and then all of a sudden I got exclusive access, so I was really happy about that, really happy about being able to purchase these for retail, um, so let's get right into it guys, um, the only bummer... Uh, about this release is that even though it was an exclusive access and everything they just gave you a regular kobe box uh which is what they've been the same box they've been uh, uh releasing all the kobe pro Tools in just a plain black box nothing special kobe logo kobe signature um here is the tag information on the box kobe 5 pro Tro. i am a size 10 and a half here is the um, Nike code on there. Uh, the suggested retail is $180. And I have already actually taken them out of the box. So I really couldn't wait. Um, I was really stoked on, waiting the, on getting these. Nike took actually forever to ship these shoes out. Um, I think they waited till the challenge was over because um, I thought the challenge was only gonna last for like a day. But I heard a lot of people still copying pairs uh, two or three days after the challenge even started. Um, I'm not. I didn't. I might have just missed it if there was a deadline or whatnot. But I thought it was only for a day. Anyways, here are the shoes, guys. Um, it's a really nice shoe. I think it, it, it's this colorway really um, made a difference to the regular chaos uh, slash Joker colorway. Uh, pretty much the only thing it looks like they changed is the gray uh, midsole and then the gray uh, upper part where the shoelace, uh, shoelace eyelids are. Uh, I think in the regular chaos um, colorway, this part is actually white. Um, I kind of like, I mean, I like both of them. Uh, I'm so used to want, uh, looking at the chaos, so that's why I'm really in love with the chaos colorway. But this is not a bad um, change. Um, I think they did a good, an excellent job with these. Um, let me give you guys a quick closer look at the details. Boom. Color the shoelace. Give you guys a turn around. Let me know what you guys think about this new uh, Kobe 5 uh, Pro Tro look as well. I know a lot of people think, uh, I think I heard a lot of people say they like the old model better. Um, this one seems to be a little bit more uh, sleeker, more, more slimmer, especially like at the toe box. But yeah, man, here are the shoes. Let me give you guys the... Uh, um, View from the top. This is how they look. The inside, let me see if I can change the lighting on here. It still has the same 
insoles as all the Kobe 5s with the 2.4 in there, as you guys can see. But yeah, man, um, I really um, am actually was surprised that these even released. Uh, it caught me kind of off guard. I know uh, NBA 2K has been doing challenges since the season started through the sneakers app, and I had no idea. I think the first challenge, thing, it was a LeBron shoe. I think it was the all-purple shoe. I can't remember. I think it's the LeBron 16 or so. Um, and then this is probably the second challenge they've done. So I'm really um, kind of curious to see where um, Nike uh, and the NBA 2K go after this. Uh, I want to see what other exclusive access type of shoes they're going to release throughout the year. I'm pretty sure around um, All-Star Weekend they should be releasing another uh, shoe. So you guys should keep a eye out for that. Um, now, when these actually first came out uh, on the 26th, when the, actually the actual challenge started, I know they were going for around $700 to $1,000, uh, which is kind of crazy to me. Uh, I don't think I would have paid for that much if I didn't score. Um, that's just way, way um, unrealistic price. Uh, but now, I was actually on StockX today, and I'm on StockX right now, and the prices have really jumped down. Um, they're in the 300s now, in the lower 300s. Um, I think they would stay around the that lower 300s, maybe dip down to the high 200s, 275, 280 or so. Um, so I say if you're really interested in these, uh, cop now. Um, I don't think they'll go back up. Um, I think the Kobe um, shoe line and sneaker line itself it doesn't really have much resale value as of now. Uh, unless you have some exclusive rare pairs from, you know, um, from back in the day. But I don't think right now Kobe um, has much of a a rareness to it in the sneaker game um, to where part pairs are going to be um, costing a grip. But, uh, yeah, man, um, let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Um, it is something new. Um let me know what you guys think about the shape. As you guys can tell, it's a little bit more sleeker and straight as it goes up right here as well. Oops. Let's put on the light. Come on. Uh, let's see if I can fix the lighting again. Sorry, guys. Uh, I record this off my phone because I'm at work and I have better lighting here than I have at home that's why I do it here so that's why um, I record these videos from work at times but anyways uh, let, me, let me know what you guys think about these shoes um, like I said it's it's a new colorway it's something new um, it's still kind of related to the chaos I believe they call these a dark chaos or so I'm not quite sure if that's uh, how true that is but um, yeah, man. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, make sure you guys go follow my Instagram. Uh, I am at Light Skin Paisa. That is light as in L-I-G-H-T. Skin as in S-K-I-N. Paisa as in P-A-I-S-A. -A. Um, I post a lot of other Kobe's on there. Um, you know, more on feet type of pictures. Um, let me know what you guys think about these, like I said. And um, I will be making more videos on other shoe uh, releases and other shoe cops that I've actually... I've actually copped a couple other shoes in the last two months or so um, that I really want to show you guys. It's more of a older, older Kobe's, older colorways. And I want to know what you guys think about those cops. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm not quite sure if Nike is actually done with the uh, Kobe 4 pro tro but this is the f first pair of the fives let me know if you guys are going to cop the actual chaos pair as well which should be releasing this weekend if not tomorrow tomorrow is the third today is the second here so tomorrow's the third i believe they release tomorrow if not saturday um which saturday will be the fourth but i know they release this weekend let me know if you guys are going to go after that pair and let me know what you guys think about this um, it's a nice shoe, so I'm really uh, happy I was able to score these. Uh, keep an eye out for more exclusive access on the NBA 2K 
uh, challenges and on the sneakers app. And that's all for today, man. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys like, if you guys like these videos. I want to hear more of you guys' feedback um, on how I'm doing and what I could improve on. And um, Happy New Year's once again, guys. And have a good one. Thank you.